Hey guys, I'm Bart. I'm Gio. I'm Joe. I'm Tiffany, and you're watching Ask the Feels. Today we have a question from Brianna. Brianna. So I signed up for swim class for the upcoming year, and I asked my mom if I could use a tampon while I'm on my period for swim class, and she said no, because it can make me lose my virginity. I don't know what to do because I don't want to go against my mom's word, but I also need to do some class in order to get my physical education credits for this year. And I'm sort of scared because you know what happens when you get your period and you swim. Damn, that sucks. That sucks that you even have to ask your parents for permission to use a tampon. Well, because they're buying it for you. Yeah. She's not buying it. Oh, stuff. so she's asking, like, can you buy me a tampon? Yeah. Oh, that sucks when you have a parent that's trapped in fucking Stone Age mind. But what if the kid just goes out and buys her own tampons? I mean, that's what she's gonna have to do. Yeah, but if her mom buys it, though, she's gonna get yeah. pissed. And that's why she's saying she doesn't want to go against her mom. She's gonna be like, you lost your virginity to a tampon? Yeah, because, like, she's, so she's in swimming, right? Yeah. That's what yeah. she said. And then... You can't wear a pad. That's weird. You're just gonna soak up all the water. Yeah, that is that sucks. You're just gonna have to get new parents. <laughs> that's probably the best. Right? How do you do that? You I can't mean, even exp you can't even reason with a parent that says you're gonna lose your virginity if you have a tampon. Like what the fuck? Yeah, who fucking cares? You lose it. Maybe she could come up with like a report or like like you know studies show that no mom I will not lose my virginity or whatever like you know bring some scientific proof but parents like that her. don't listen to science uh, yeah they already well, jumped to conclusions already mm -hmm. like you wanna fuck a tampon all night not on my watch damn that's so or just get a tampon from a friend then but she's scared because now she's kind of brainwashed to thinking oh shit I'm gonna lose my virginity no boy's gonna want me now because that's what girls live for to stay virgins and be virgins for guys. That's the only reason. Maybe you can talk to your swim instructor and let him or her know your predicament. Hopefully your swim, your swim instructor is a female and then your swim instructor can then talk to your parents for you and be like, look, um, we don't want your daughter bleeding all over the pool, turning it red to like the Red Sea. <laughs> the and, Red sea. and she's not gonna lose her virginity on a tampon, um, tons of, Girls are on tampons swimming all the time and it's perfectly fine. And then maybe the mom would be like, fine, if the teacher say so, then okay. Well, I mean, I don't think the mom cares enough because she's not gonna do great in that class, but the mom doesn't care. Well, I think it's because she's hearing it from the daughter's mouth. Oh, yeah, if teacher, the teacher yeah. says it, it's teacher's it might, God. Yeah, it might it might be different. Oh. That, I mean, it's worth a try. That's what I've been saying. Would a mom be embarrassed then that like you're airing out your personal information to a stranger, your teacher? Or do they value teachers? Oh, no, you don't voice it like that. You don't go like, you know what? My mom's not letting me use tampons, so you gotta talk to my mom. And then you don't bring it up like that. You just bring it up, hey, um, do you think it'd be better for tampons? If I use tampons while I'm swimming, the teacher might be like, oh, that might be a good idea. And be like, hey, my mom is a little bit more on the traditional side. Do you think you could talk to her and tell her that I think it would help help out my situation? Mm -hmm. So without airing out the argument that they had and the disagreements that they had, just say, can you help my, guide my mom in this direction? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you gotta speak yeah. your mom's language. Yeah. She yeah, probably maybe. listens to authority. If she can't, and she's stuck in the Stone Age, and her mind works, in mysterious ways, just hide it. <laughs> or I mean, if you really can't, and like, you know, your teacher has talked to your mom, and your mom's still like, no, then maybe what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna have to take another class to make up for those credits. That's and, hopefully uh, not on And your honestly, period. like, you don't insert a dick size <laughs> tampon in you that's gonna potentially break your hymen. Yeah, but they don't use reason, though. It's yeah. like you this know, big. Those moms don't use they reason. Don't, they don't use reason. Parents are like that are the reasons why a lot of kids don't make great, you know, they don't push in life really far because it's like they're always trapping them with their fucking stupid reasons. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying go against your parents or lie for whatever reason, but I'm, I'm saying like, yeah, I don't think something this big is gonna take away your virginity. When, when you should know by now that if your mom's a very stubborn person that thinks one way and that's it, you should know that there's no way convincing her and as much as you want to be right and you want to make this fair, you can't. You can't reason with unreasonable. You can't reason with irrational and you can't reason with people who are stubborn. So you just gotta do it and just play them lip service. And it sucks that you, you have to have a relationship like that but if your mom's stubborn, if she can't listen, if she can't open her mind, then 
why should you hurt your future and and hurt your grades and all that because your mom's because of your mom being so stubborn i'd say just like Try that method, have a teacher talk to her. If she's still gonna be a you know hard head about it, you gotta you gotta put a tap on it because you can't be bleeding all over the pool like that. Yeah. Uh, and you wanna swim, you don't wanna not swim because you're not gonna get a good grade. And if you lose your virginity to the tampon, um, that's also the tampons first too. So you guys shared a special <laughs> moment together. You're not losing a virginity to the tampon, by no, the way. I was a virgin, I wore a tampon, and I was still a virgin. And Same it's like this me. small. Yeah, same with me. Same with me. <laughs> Your butthole is not a virgin anymore. No, the tampon came out brown. <laughs> Ew! I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Ask the Feels. Don't ever miss a beat and make sure to subscribe. Make sure to watch this last video, it was so funny. To accomplish and achieve that I didn't know what the steps were, but then it wasn't until high school when you guys just start kissing and you guys just start groping each other and they're like, oh shit, her hand's on my dick and just stroking away. Then you're like, oh, okay, this is how it goes down. It just naturally happens when you guys are just expressing how you guys feel. Yeah, that's true. So let your hands explore. I mean, you guys never held hands, kissed, all that stuff. I mean, it doesn't, it, to me, it just doesn't make sense. Like, why would you have to talk about it? Yeah. It just happens. And then, yeah, I mean, I guess, if you're in this on the subject of sex and you want to talk about that, 